Boy, I sure do love the way this build turned out. This hospital is absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that sign. That sign is freaking amazing. I'm I'm very proud of this thing. I could have done a little more texturing in that, but man, I was tired. I was ready. I was ready to be done with the chisels and bidding, and we're done. So, what are we doing today? Well, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, but a lot of things I can't do because I don't have the proper equipment, like say a beacon. I want to make an iron farm, uh, that's a big one. I want to make a villager trading hall, that's another big one. And if you think about the order of those things, uh, you, you, a beacon is going to help you dig the hole for the iron farm, it's also going to help you dig the hole for a slime farm. So it feels like villager trading hall comes first, or you go out to kill a wither boss. I think we're going to do the wither boss. And to do that, to get our nether star, we are going to need a better sword. I have looting two right now, I prefer looting three, and if we can get real lucky, it'd be awesome if we could also get a smite sword, just to make the wither skeleton process a little faster. Come here, I need, I need one of your cuties to come here. You're too far away. Aha, there we go. So I'm just gonna put you down, close the door, seal this back up, put the dirt bag, let's go! Still the greatest thing ever, by the way, look, look how cute this is. Should be able to safely plop you down right here. That's right. What's your name? Claudette. Hello, Claudette. Be a villager? Be a good villager? Don't be a villager at all? It's noon? You don't take jobs at noon? Dang. This is gonna be a long process. <laughs> you gotta laugh at that. I was hoping to enchant before to try to get Unbreaking 3 or like a knockback or something. Smite 4, looting 3. Thank you. I didn't already just get those books from villagers. <laughs> you just got you just gotta laugh, but we're ready. Let's let's go fight some uh, some skeletons. Here we go. Come on, I just need one more. That's not one more. Oh! <laughs> you scared me. Head? Dang. Just need one more. Oh, here we go. Yes, come to me. Just need your head. Give me your head. Oh my gosh! Give me your head! <sighs> I'm having the worst luck right now. And head! Head, come on. give it to me. Head, return to center. <gasps> yes! Third skull! We got it! <laughs> okay, just out of curiosity... Wither Skeleton! 67 killed! And we only have three skulls! Okay! That's uh... That's a lot! That's That might be one of the worst I've ever, ever had! My best being 13! So now the next step is to... Beat up the Wither Boss, and... This... <laughs> This will either work or this will be a horrible, horrible thing. Got a nice little uh, cobbly bit thing here. Let's see. Place this here. It's not perfect. It's missing two spots. <laughs> so again, this will either work out fine or it won't. So, well, there's no going back now. <laughs> be trapped? Let's just turn that way down. I mean, 
trapped, but he can attack. Yay! Trapped, but he can attack. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, I like it. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. But there's still one more thing. Ancient debris. I want to get my pickaxes up just because we have the weather, the, the, the nether star thing. Doesn't mean we're going to have a full beacon. So I better have my best tools possible. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we got our, uh, we got our pickaxes. I think we're almost ready to go. Let's talk about the iron farm, because just like with the villager breeder, I don't want it to be exactly obvious what's going on. So we're probably going to end up building it over here next to the, next to this building. Uh, you know, maybe on the back side, actually. I'm not entire, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but there was a brilliant idea by I want to say Arlenaise? You'll have to correct me if I've mis mispronounced that. Uh, but that, you know, we could have a little bit of religion in here. And you know what? I, I kind of like a, like, I like the idea of like a minor deity, an iron god. Uh, and I think it would be really cool if they did uh, ritual sacrifices <laughs> uh, to the iron god in the form of their iron golems. So we'll have a little church set up here. And, uh, somewhere around here, anyway. And effectively, our iron farm will just feed up into a church. Now, it's not going to be a huge church. It's not going to be a giant cathedral. Like I said, minor deity, so small church. Just a tiny little thing. But we, I might put a little courtyard in it and everything. Yeah, we can make it look pretty. It might be a small, small building, but, uh, it'll still look really nice. I think that'd be really cool. And <laughs> directly underneath it, they will be sacrificing the golems. But I'm thinking we're going to build right over there. I think that'd be pretty cool. It'll all be underground. And I'm going to slap it with a chunk loader. And then all the iron that comes out of it, I'm just going to have it funnel under and then up into the church. So the church will still be the place to get the iron. It's just that the farm will be over here. So let's go set that up. Ooh, we did it. There we go. All right, I want some haste to action, please. Yeah, so you see we're in the middle of uh, four chunks. <clears throat> the iron farm that I found is, uh, I'll link it in the description down below, uh, but it's a pretty large one. Like it wants you to go like 16 blocks in one direction, 16 in another, so it's actually gonna be slightly larger than these four chunks, just on the branches. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I just thought it looked neat, uh, even though we're not really gonna see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just Follow this out now, I guess. Wish me luck. Well, <laughs> this took several real life days to do, and uh, I don't really, I don't really have much to say. I just want to show you guys. So we're above where the iron farm will be. This is the hole where the beacon beam was poking through. Um, but. Yeah, not 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 a lot to say, just a lot of show because I you know I immediately want to jump into just building the farm itself. Uh, not the most interesting part, and we still have a church to build way over there, and I want to focus the rest of this episode on that. So let's just take a look at this real fast. How many of you guys have actually seen the depths of the new update with your own eyeballs? This thing is crazy. This is insane. Like I said, this this took like two days. Like I've been at this for like the last. 18 hours We'll just jump off. Yeah, we're still falling. We're still falling <laughs> It's so deep. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, basically um, The center of this thing is going to be a drop zone for the golems. They're gonna fall into lava They're gonna die. They're gonna end up down here where they're gonna be going into a uh, water uh, system to get transported way over there. I'll probably break it off into three systems because this is far deeper than I was expecting and uh, We're probably gonna get a ridiculous. I think every layer of this farm is supposed to do like 1600 iron per hour So <laughs> we're probably gonna be able to get in now, Let's see they need 17 blocks between each of them. They're probably 10 blocks high So we're probably gonna get in six maybe seven maybe eight layers. I don't know. We'll know at the end uh, So yeah, I'm gonna get to building we're gonna have this iron farm. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be really cool. All right, there, there's one more thing. The hall, of course. <laughs> this is everything we got. I'm excited about this bit. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep these forever. Uh, but this, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's. I'm gonna crack these open. In fact, I'm probably gonna crack. Not all of it. Uh, I'll probably leave this until I need it. I think just in case I want to build with these particular blocks. But the diamonds I'll crack open right away. Why not? About three and a half stacks. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. Not worth 18 hours of digging though. If you're gonna go looking for diamonds, just do it the normal way. Don't dig a giant hole like I did. Just wanted you guys to see it. It's looking really good. In fact, I wasn't 100% sure it was going to work at all. So I did the first, just the first one completely, uh, just to verify golems were spawning and they were. So I went ahead and while the first one was running, I set up the rest of them. How many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven in here. So I set up the other six, but they weren't active. I hadn't put the villagers in yet. And I, in the time that it took me to uh, build the rest of it and put the rest of the villagers in to get those guys active, uh, we already got several blocks of iron and uh, it's pretty much just been going for the last couple of minutes <laughs> since I emptied these. So I don't think I'm going to put a chunk loader on this. Uh, I'm If we need iron, I'll just come AFK for a couple hours and I'm sure most of these <laughs> will fill up. It's incredibly powerful. Um, and I don't need this running all of the time and slowing down the world. Uh, if that's the case, but I will still go ahead and we'll do the church and I will uh, get a runoff filter. Probably there's, there's three hoppers here. I'll probably just redirect that hopper uh, to be the one that runs out to the to our church. So let's let's go over and work on that. So I've prepared a little bit of land over here for uh Oh, there goes my map. <laughs> you guys might be wondering, let's take a, a little quick look at the Atlas. I yeah, I just thought this was going to be a book that we could that had a map in it. We could scroll through. This apparently is not that one. You have to load this up with empty maps. And as you enter new chunks, it just renders in a map and you can click and drag and you can zoom in and out on it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the default's 128 maps. I changed it to 256 because I like the idea that each Atlas can hold a pretty good chunk of the world. But uh, yeah, this is where we are. We're in this little area. That's the map. Welcome to this tutorial. Anyway, <laughs> uh, as a, as usual, uh, I will have a link in the description down below. I'm using ArtStation again because it is a wonderful site for inspiration. And there's this beautiful church. Now, the one that you're seeing down there is too big, but I really like the shape of it. So I'm going to attempt to do something here uh, to get the shape, but I'm not going to go that big. Uh, and I do want it to be kind of close to the back of this thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the shape with my blocks, right? Uh, and then you'll notice that it's kind of elevated, but that's just because it's like a section of the world. I'm actually going to elevate this a little bit, so I'll do like a little perimeter around it. But I need to know the shape first so I can figure out what the perimeter is going to be. So I'm basically just following this out um, and trying to get something. Now I like to do things on odds, so when I do my shapes I usually do something like this. That way I know it's on odds, right? Uh, oh, this one needs to be like that. There we go. So you see we got three, we skip one, that's five, seven, and then we're back on this thing, right? I got, a, I think this, we want four, not two. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just play with it for a little bit and see what we get. You see there's some like weird, uh, dents out the side. So maybe that's what this could be represented and get the little indent so it's not perfect. So this part's not perfectly square. So yeah, we'll figure out a shape real fast. And just like that, finding the shape. Uh, not too difficult, actually. So, if you do have the link open, you can see it. Uh, I have the, the little, the red terracotta here is just to kind of mark out where, like, these little grass patches are going to frame the sides, uh, of the church. And then, of course, I got the four, like, pillar things going on with it. Uh, you have your front steps, like, right here. The main doors, these three blocks. Uh, and then you're inside the, like, not a dome but it's definitely got a curve to it like a swoop not a not a not a point like that but it literally like like a, like, like a dome but <laughs> not a circle words are easy i want it to be a little taller than that building but i don't want this to be absolutely massive now of course 
My big struggle is going to be coming up with the uh, with the proper blocks to use. I should I need to come up with a with a block palette. I like the blue in in the uh, inspiration image that we're using. I think that's kind of neat. There's a lot of stained glass. Not sure. We do got some pretty cool stained glass blocks in here. If you look at these guys down here, the macaws had some really cool stuff. So we'd probably be able to pull something together that's really nice uh, using those. So uh, lots of lots of options so let me get together a, a little bit of a build palette we'll talk about it and then uh, maybe we'll put some blocks down well that sucks uh <laughs> my mic did not pick up in that last recording clip thing that i made so here we are starting over basically i just wanted to tell you about the uh, the block choices we we went with uh dripstone pain in the butt I have to make a farm uh, uh and i had to dip into the create mod a little bit over there uh to automate it because it's a pain in the in, in the butt uh, so we're going with limestone. Kind of not an easy block to get, but I can, you know, it's it's not terrible. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible, so we probably won't use a ton of this in the future. But then I found this block, Azurite or something. Anyway, yeah, we're looking at the blocks. Uh, found this cool, I think these from the macaws. This is the panes, by the way. Uh, you'll notice they don't do the halvesies on them, which is interesting. I like that. Also, they have a connected texture. Uh, I'm excited to use that. But the Azurine. Perfect for the roof. If you got the link open, you've seen you've seen what our inspiration is. I think that's going to be a really great block. Now, after I told you about these blocks, I was going to say let's let me experiment a little bit with with the blocks and and actually try to build it. And that's where this clip was going to come in, <laughs> where we're actually building it. Uh, it's 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 a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it's not too terribly big. I wanted to be just a little taller than that build, but it's going to be. Probably a, at least a whole floor, maybe two floors taller than that. Not terrible at the end of the day, but also not great. Uh, not sure how much we're going to do with this. I kind of, I want to do like futuristic type build mixed with medieval. So like hyper fantasy. So uh, after we get this build in place and built today, we're going to, our next episode, we're probably going to shift gears and try to come up with a plan for the whole region. Uh, instead of willy-nilly dotting stuff in. But for now, yeah, we're working on this church. This is the back side of it that's going to have the big tower if you, again, have the link open and if you've seen it. So, yeah, it's coming It's coming along. Um, I think it's actually going to look pretty good. It's going to be much more grand than I originally anticipated, but I think that's fine. What a weird feeling to have. Like, on one hand, I'm like, it's not done. Don't, don't, don't think about it. It's just not done yet. It's not, it's not done. But on the other hand, I'm like, hmm, I don't like it. <laughs> but I think I don't like it because it's not done. <laughs> it's missing a lot of details. In fact, it's missing like 99% of the details. And it has no interior whatsoever. Um, this is the part that's going to be hard for me. I know I can get the exact details I want if I use the chisels and bits. But I really don't want to use the chisels and bits. I've already... I've already used chisels and bits in this build, if you can believe it. Um, <laughs> there's a, a section up there, one of the tops of the windows is a lower slab, but immediately above it's another slab of a different variety. So four of those in total up there, those are all chiseled to make them have the correct textures. And then of course in the back over here, I tried doing a upside down stair with the right side up stair, and it just didn't have the depth I wanted. So there's a row here that is vertical slabs and a little pillar. These are all chisels as well. That's it. That's it. That's as far as the chisels have gone so far. And I don't know if I want to do more chisels. Uh, I'm, I really... <laughs> on one hand, I'm like, just take it out of the mod pack and fix those after the after the fact. But I, you know, I don't want... To, there is an escaped villager up there. <laughs> uh, but I, I just don't want to rely on chisels and bits that much because I know how much it bogs down the world. My <laughs> my world save went from half a gig to 1.8 gigs after I built that last house with all the chisels. So yeah, it makes your world size uh, quite huge and it's slow and so I'm trying to avoid it. But it's time for the details and it could take a while. I'm using a new uh, editing software so I missed last Friday's upload because I had to learn how to use an entirely new software. Uh, I've probably made a note about that already on the uh on youtube's community post but you know just just letting you guys know what's going on yeah new editing software and it's that time we're up and running <laughs> i've been afk here for a few days uh we're totally maxed out 
<laughs> every chest. I even went through. God, that's annoying. I even went through, made sure we took out all of the, uh, all of the, the poppies. Get them out of the way. But so now it's filtering to the church. So let's go to the church. There's a downside though. Uh, I do have a chunk loader, uh, right there. However, the chunk loader just keeps the chunk loaded. It doesn't apparently keep the AI functions of the villagers going or what have you. Because as soon as we're away from here, as soon as we would normally be out of range as a player, this thing shuts down. It does not care that there's a chunk loader. But the chunk loader does keep the uh, this running until that empty, so that's that's nice. And now this is the moment you're all waiting for. I can I can tell. Ooh, it actually I told you I told you I shouldn't judge it too early because I, I knew I knew it was gonna be a little jinky without the details, but with the details, ooh, uh now that I've had a few days of staring at it, I am loving it more and more and more. There's so much and it's so beautiful and there is an interior and I can't wait to show you. Had I known how much work I was going to be putting into this, that extra week of learning uh, editing software, DaVinci Resolve, uh, gave me a plenty of time to do stuff here. It's been awesome. So yes, there is an interior and I'm excited to show you. Again, if I would have known that I was going to be doing the interior to such, uh, such an extent, I would have focused more of this video on it, honestly. but. You know, we got the outside, I went ahead did these little chisels and bitties for a little perimeter around the uh, little grass areas. Yes, you can walk in through the doors on both sides. I think it turned out really nice. I like the exterior a lot. Um, it's uh, still larger than I expected it to be, but I still like it a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have an entire inside to the church slash cathedral. It's turned more into a cathedral all of a sudden, <laughs> when it's just meant to be a little bit of a church. How cool is this? I really like the tall sweeping roof. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, we have the pews. I have some kind of sit mod in the game so we can actually sit and uh, do stuff, sitting wise. We have this like grand carpet that's kind of hard to see. Uh, going up through the thing, you know, we got access to the doors on the side. I went with a um, Thanks to our mining sessions uh, and digging out the hole. There was a few amethysts So I was able to get just enough to do the roof and of course you can craft these blocks So that was super helpful as well um, but, Oh, I like the roof I was trying to kind of go for like a starry Feel that's kind of the most you can get with the blocks. I got right now. That's oh, very cool. Really like this you see in the back, this is the Church of the Iron God. Uh, so we got uh, the head of an iron golem. That's what that's supposed to be. And up here it looks real nice. It's all white and pristine like an iron golem. You come up here, we got the little uh, lectern with a book on it. This is literally an enchanted book. We got some cool mod to put books down. Really, oh, it's fancy. So fancy. Uh, and you're going to see that detail a lot. Uh, that door and this door lead to the same thing. So we're just going to go downstairs. You do have to duck or you can't get down here. But, ooh, here we are. This is where the priest's private quarters would be. Right, kind of like a little, I don't know, lounge room, I guess. Uh, got some bookshelves. You know, he's a he's a studied man. And then we got uh, his bedroom. Look, he's kind of a slob with his books. He really likes reading, I guess. Uh, so we got the, the priest's bedroom. I like this a lot. I think that turned out really well. But then, things get a little dark from here. So, buckle up. We're gonna head down. The, normally this door would be locked, right? You need keys. So only the pastor has access to this and maybe other people who work at the church. This kind of leads down to the dungeons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. I want to do a little more on the bottom down there. Uh, and make it feel like that fades into like an abyss. As opposed to just, you know, stopping. But... Yeah, you know, for now, that'll have to do. Ooh, I like it. And then we come down here. We have this gauges and switches mod, so we get these cool looking levers. Oh, <laughs> yes. And then we have the blood iron golem. That's right. <laughs> this thing's getting a little dark. That's the true god, <laughs> the blood iron golem. And you see, we got a couple of golems hanging. That's what they're supposed to represent. That are that they're being hung ready for the sacrifice and then on the table here you got blood on the floor and you have the makings of a of a golem who's been 
butchered and ripped apart. We got the iron on the inside of the internal, like his uh, intestines, like stringing along, connecting it. We have the uh, the little hatchet here for hacking them apart. The head. Oh, oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so dark. Uh, we have a hangman mod where you can make a noose and hang mobs on them, which is really cool. However, it does not work with golems. Otherwise, I would have done that with the golems. That's pretty cool, too. I, I think it can even hang the player. And then, of course, the iron farm is linked up to this. Now, again, the iron farm is not active unless the player is close enough, so these aren't going to fill up in, for a while. But, uh, yeah, just requires a little bit more AFKing over there. Ooh, this turned out so good. I'm so happy with this. The blood iron god. Ooh, it's so dark. That really tickles my funny bone. We gotta put a statue of our, uh, 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 of our commenter who left this brilliant suggestion. No idea if your name is actually going to... No, well, it does go from a Steve to, uh, to an Alex. Arlenays! I think I'm saying that right. At least your name's associated with the statue. That's, that's the important part. Yeah, let's get you right here. Hit you with the embiggening. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Arlenaze's comments. Just down to sacrifice iron golems to deity. And that's how we got the iron blood god. <laughs> Who, of course, they're not preaching as the iron blood god. It's just the iron god, as far as everyone knows. As far as these plebeians are aware of. But we know, don't we? I think we know. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for your patience as I learned DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.